Alright folks, we are back. It's Nancy Drew number 8, Haunted Carousel. I'm your Gibbs. We just learned to play a tune. Now we're going to have to go and play this for Miles, the magnificent... What was he? Memory something or other? <laughs> so we're going to go and play on our harmonica for our dear old Miles. And that should be the third of his riddles. So Will we Nancy Drew please report immediately to the security office? And by immediately, I mean don't even think about doing anything else. So don't go in here? I better go to Harlan's. He sounds mad. Okay. Hi there. I just got off the phone with Miss Santos. Where do you get off telling her I'm some kind of jewel thieving peeping Tom? She called you? Of course she called. She hired me because she thought I deserved a second chance. She wanted to make sure I hadn't betrayed her trust. Which I hadn't, by the way. I know that now, and I'm really sorry. I figured if I did a good job here, it would prove to everybody once and for all that I was totally trustworthy. That I was more than just an ex-con. A lot more. Okay, so maybe I'm trying a little too hard. Maybe people's entry codes should be off-limits. It's just that this job means everything to me. I don't want to screw it up. I guess I was a little overzealous, too. I I'm really sorry. I'll see you around. Okay, so we've now made friends? Sorry. I don't feel like talking right now. My back's kind of sore. <laughs> probably because somebody just got done stabbing me there. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if that's true. That's a little melodramatic there, mister. Will Nancy Drew please report to the security office? Again? Hi there, Joy. Any luck? I think we're all set. I know the tune and I've got a harmonica. Play it for Miles and see what happens. My oral sensors are ready. Sock it to me. <laughs> Sock it to me. All right, here we go, folks. Let's see if I can do this without too many errors here. <laughs> Hooray! I remember that song. I did ride the carousel. Over and over and over. Always the same horse. Always the same black horse. You love the carousel, and you loved one horse in particular. It was not the lead horse. And it was not spectacular, but you loved it, Joy. What was its name? I can't remember. Is the name important? I am not programmed to continue unless and until you remember the name of that horse. You loved it so much that your mother bought it for you. Okay. She was the one who bought the horse off the carousel? That's interesting. The park must have a record of that transaction. I haven't seen it, but you're right. It must be around here somewhere. Fairly certain I have I'll get that. back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, Nancy. I think that's the thing with the sonography on it, isn't it? No. Uh, yeah, see? What's the name? See? I'm gonna put it in here. Uh, so how am I supposed to figure this out? Dude. So we need to figure out what to put here. Let's, uh, uh, well, where am I going? Oh, no. If I just type it? The name of the carousel horse is Glory. Yay. Okay. Who do I tell? Any luck? I know the name of that carousel horse your mother bought you. Glory! Glory! That's right! Glory! My mother gave him to me for my birthday! My fourth birthday! She died in a car accident that very night! Aww. How awful! 
No wonder you forgot how much you love the carousel. It would have reminded you of your mother. I hated the park after my mother died. I hated the carousel. And I hated that horse. I blamed it for what happened to my mother. I had my father destroy it. But your father did not destroy it. Instead, he stored it. He hoped that someday, with the help of... Miles, the magnificent memory machine! <laughs> you would come to terms with your past. And because that is what you are doing, here is the third and final riddle. Ask Tink for the book you and I used to read about Kessler and Amelia so kind. Give her nickname a spin on spook number ten. Then the brass prize arrange on its forearm so strange. And something long lost and cherished you'll find. Okay. Tink's the guy who runs the carousel. Let's give him a call. I've got his number. No. Nancy, I did something terrible. I turned the power off to the roller coaster and caused the accident that shut down the park. I blamed Miss Santos for my father's death, just like I blamed that horse for what happened to my mother. I feel horrible. Keep going without me, Nancy. I have to go see Miss Santos and apologize. Okay. So I gotta do all the heavy lifting from here, do I? Fine, fine, fine. Leave you in peace. Let's call up Tink. Do do do. Where is he? Oh yeah, we gotta call this person too. Sukov. My name is Nancy Drew. I saw the article you wrote about Rolf Kessler in the Collector's Hot Sheet magazine. That was several months back, but go on. Well, seeing as you're pretty much an expert on Kessler as well as carousels, I was hoping you could answer a question for me. I'd be delighted. Would you happen to know the nickname Rolf Kessler gave his wife, Amelia? Of course I do. At least, I thought I did. It was an Austrian term of endearment, rather common. Oh, come on, Anton, think. Spatzi. That was it. Spatzi. S-P-A-T-Z-I. He always called her Spatsy. Okay. Fair enough. Did you by any chance hear about the horse that was stolen off the carousel at Captain's Cove Amusement Park in New Jersey? It was one of the carousels that Kessler carved. Yes, I did. And I thought, how odd. Because, you see, I'd gotten a call from someone about a month prior to that asking me how much I thought one of those horses would be worth. Really? Do you have any idea who it was that called? None whatsoever. He never gave me his name, nor did he say where he was calling from. The thought that I may have actually encouraged someone to mutilate a work of art. Oh. How much would a horse from a Kessler carousel be worth? Depending on its condition, whether it's an inside horse or an outside horse, whether it's the lead horse, anywhere from 80000 to well over $100,000. Wow. wow, that's a lot of money. Yes, it is. But Kessler carved horses for only five carousels in his lifetime. So not only is each horse exquisitely beautiful, but it's very rare, especially if it's the lead horse. The lead horse? The outside horse, just behind the chariot. The place where you can sit instead of ride. It's traditionally the most ornately carved horse on the carousel, hence the most valuable. Huh. Did you hear about how the carousel at Captain's Cove is now allegedly haunted because one of the horses was stolen? <laughs> yes, what a wonderfully romantic piece of nonsense. Do you have any idea why someone would be going to the trouble of making the carousel turn on and off by itself? As a matter of fact, I do. I think that someone wants publicity. Whoever stole the horse wants people to know that it's gone so that when he or she goes to sell it, there will be a whole slew of eager buyers. But we're talking about stolen property. Are you saying people would willingly buy something they know was stolen? We're talking about the black market, my dear. Great works of art get stolen by thieves and bought by less than scrupulous collectors all the time. Fair enough. If someone did steal that horse off the carousel in order to make money off of it, what would be his or her next move? How would they go about selling it? Well, the thief would probably get a middleman to set up a bidding war between several buyers in order to get the highest price. The internet comes in very handy in such matters. The internet's fault. Thanks for all the info. <laughs> Always happy to share my mental wealth. I liked him. He was pretty cool. Now, let's call uh, Tink. 
There he is, bottom of the list. This is Tank. Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Did you land that fish? I don't want to talk about it. That answer your question? <laughs> okay. I'm curious, who do you think stole that horse off the carousel? Kids, staring at each other, doing stupid kid stuff. Or maybe somebody just liked the way old Nightshade looked and wanted him for himself. I don't know. Nightshade? That was its name, Nightshade. Kessler gave all of his horses names, painted them on their bridles. Huh. Interesting. Have fun fishing! I'm trying. <laughs> Nancy keeps interrupting. Ah, uh, who else do we want to call? I don't want to call the boys. I want to call the girls. Girl power. Hello? Hey, Bess, it's me. Hi, Nance. Oh my gosh, he called. Yes, we're going out next Friday. Let me guess, you're going to a movie. Yes, he gets free tickets and free refills. <laughs> there you have it, Nance. Bess has achieved Nirvana, and I'm free to move about the room without fearing for my life. So what's new with you? I showed Ingrid the device I found under the carousel. So what'd she say? She says she didn't see it when she looked under the carousel. We've said it before, and we'll say it again. Suspect list. It turns out Joy was responsible for causing that accident that shut down the park. How do you know? She confessed. Her father was right. Dredging up all those memories was good for her. She's apologizing to Paula even as we speak. What about the carousel? Was she responsible for all that haunting stuff, too? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think she sincerely believed that Ms. Santos was behind it, so she caused the roller coaster accident to teach her a lesson. At least you don't have to worry about the roller coaster anymore. Yeah, now you can really check out the rest of the park. You're making progress, Nan. Just hang in there. Turns out Ingrid was calling Lance Huffington to share a remedy for neck pain with him. Or so she says. She's also been making money on the side by helping someone design a roller coaster. Or so she says. I agree with Bess. Don't go erasing her from your suspect list just yet, Nan. Thanks to that info on stenography you guys sent me, I was able to figure out the name of the carousel horse that Joy's mother bought her. Joy's mother bought her a carousel horse? That's what was in the note I found. It was a memo about the sale. The horse had a name? Kessler liked to name the horses he carved. This one's name was Glory. What happened to it? I have the feeling I'll find out when I solve the final riddle Miles gave us. My mother never bought me a carousel horse. <laughs> me neither. So sad. Catch you guys later. We'll be right here. Toodles. Toodles and doodles. All right, folks. So we're going to go ahead and do our rounds with all of our human beings here. Let's see if he's still mad at us. I stepped out for a second, and when I came back, somebody'd left this envelope on my desk. Looks like it's for you. Got your name on it anyway. Nancy Drew. There's nothing inside but a key. Maybe it opens that door in the haunted house. Hmm. Here, let me toss that envelope for you. I want to apologize for jumping all over you like that before. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that I would have done just what you did. No hard feelings? No hard feelings. Okay. No hard feelings. Good for you. We've, uh... Gotta go and talk to Ingrid. Hello. Hello, Nancy. How goes it? Thanks for your help. One open mind sees more than two open eyes. Okay, well that's not going to help us at all. Let's go talk to Elliot then. Hi, Elliot. Hey, Nance. What's going on? I have a theory. Someone stole that carousel horse, then made it look like the carousel was haunted, so the publicity would make the horse worth more on the black market. I'd be impressed, except for one thing. No amount of publicity can change the fact that the stolen horse was not carved by Rolf Kessler. What? The thing is, I just found out who bought the carousel horse that was replaced years ago. The horse that was stolen was definitely not the one that had been replaced. Well, then I guess I stand corrected. What about all that wood you ordered? All that wood you recently ordered. What did you say it was for? <sighs> okay, if you want to know the truth, I was going to try my hand at carving a carousel horse to replace the stolen one. I didn't want to tell anybody in case I stank at it. Why would you need several tails if you're just carving one horse? You know, Nance, I've got a lot of work to do. And much as I love our little gab fests, my work just ain't getting done. So I'm afraid, as of now, this chat room is closed. Bye bye Buh bye All right, you're moving up my suspect list, mister. Why do you need a box of horse tails? 
Uh, well, should we call uh, Miss Santos maybe, and then we'll check out that key. Santos. Paula Santos. Hi, Paula. Nancy, what's going on? Okay. There's this locked door in the haunted house that I'd really like to open. Would you by any chance know where the key is? I have no idea. You really shouldn't go in there unless it's absolutely necessary. Parts of that building are very old, almost rickety. You need to be very careful. I understand Joy's father used to come and go as he pleased even after he sold you his interest in Captain's Cove. I didn't see any harm. He loved to putter, especially in the haunted house. Wonderful imagination, but when it came to dealing with reality, barely knew where to begin. I'll be in touch. Call me anytime. All right, well, I guess we'll go and try that key and see if it works. It's locked. Uh, hang on. Inside we go. Still have to figure out what we're going to do in here, but... I think we have to fix this fellow over here at some point. There's like a tag on him, see that? Looks like Spook 10 is missing an arm.